Hey Frankie boy, fellow viewer wants to die for his community. Oblige him. You get that for making fun of Italians? Frankie fucking Williams knocks it out of the park! Yankee Stadium fucking ball game! He went yelling on that one! Hands on fucking land down straight! Yo! <laughs> what is up my fellow paisans, gangsters, and straight up dons? Frankie the Face is back for all the wrong reasons. You know, starting with, you guys keep saying I look feminine. Do you think I am one of these vegans sucking on these six inch cucumbers slathered in almond butter, six inches being a fairly generous assumption? What I think it is, is that you guys you fairy boys are wearing these blue contacts because you think it's going to entice other men. And through these blue contacts, you cannot see straight. Since you cannot see straight, you do not see this masculine, chiseled jawline that can cut through the bone of a porterhouse steak. At least, that is my assumption. Some of you guys were saying I have an average physique. My arms are probably, you know what, not probably, my arms are bigger than your legs. And that is a generous comparison, considering you probably look like a dead tree. Do you not see these Italian stonemason forearms? Brick and mortar, 12 hours a day, cement truck, huh? Hey, I might not appear to have too much facial hair, but how do you know I'm not just really good at shaving? That's a pretty masculine trait, right? Little shh, shh, you know. You guys that insist I'm wearing makeup even after I wipe it off. Like, how do you have all this knowledge of all these different types of makeup and like, whoa, this one might be waterproof, this one is swimming pool proof. Like, is this some like secret cross-dresser knowledge? How do you know so much about makeup? L listen, listen, listen. Y you boys can do whatever you want in your free time. You could wear panties under your suit on the way to work. You could wear your sister's high heels at night. You could do whatever you want. But if you want to involve me in that, the only high heels you'll be wearing are some cement ones at the bottom of the East River. Do you guys understand how dexterous you need to be to apply makeup? Have you guys seen my handwriting? I can't even draw a stick figure. Listen, if, if I could do makeup, if I could do makeup, I might actually be, you know, making a decent living and not have suspenders from my past bartending jobs. Due to some fortunate support recently uh, from you guys, thank you very much, uh, as quoted by Raphael, uh, get makeup wipes, faggot. And, you know, as a gentleman of my, you know, extraordinary level. I do not like to associate myself with such derogatory terminology. Uh, you know, he did give me 20 bucks, so I, I did get the makeup wipes. And uh, I, want a big, uh, I want a big thank you to Raphael. And I also want a big thank you to Frankie the Face for wiping all these chemicals all over his face just to show you clowns that he is not wearing makeup. I don't see any makeup. Do you guys see any makeup? I see a couple eyelashes. And at the rate that you guys make me wipe my face, I'm not gonna look like I'm wearing makeup anymore by the time I wipe off after this hair. You know, you know I mean, I mean like, what do I have to do? Like, how many times do I have to wipe my face? You know, you know what I bet you guys would like to see? Maybe I put on that short skirt, maybe like I take a little trot over to Mount Vesuvius, I like bend over, pick up some plum tomatoes so you get your rocks off while I'm walking over there. And then I like, maybe, maybe if I dip my face in the lava in the volcano, 
Maybe then you guys would be like, oh, maybe he's not wearing makeup. Eh, maybe, just maybe. Well, what do you, what do you guys think I'm doing over here? Like, well, you know, in, in hindsight, it is Halloween. You know, I'll give you guys a little something. You guys can, you guys can enact your cross-dressing fantasy for one night. But as I said, I am not participating. 